It's been a few days since SpaceX completed the historic fifth integrated flight test of Starship, an event that made headlines across every major news outlet and spread like wildfire on social media. Even people with zero interest or knowledge about space technology were celebrating and talking about this launch all over the Internet. This launch was different from all the past Starship flights, more successful than the previous four combined, and had everyone buzzing for a good reason. Why, you might ask? Well, this was the first time SpaceX reused the booster and caught it mid-air, marking a groundbreaking achievement in spaceflight history. You might be thinking, but wait, hasn't SpaceX been reusing rockets for years with the Falcon 9? True, Falcon 9 boosters have been reused countless times, but they've always landed either on a drone ship in the ocean or directly on the ground with their own legs. And while that's incredibly difficult and impressive in itself, catching a booster midair is something entirely different. It's a feat that even the most optimistic space enthusiasts didn't expect SpaceX to pull off this early. Yet here we are. Now that SpaceX has fully analyzed the results of this flight and is already preparing for the next Starship launch, new footage from this test has emerged, offering details we never knew about the launch. This video showcases the precise belly flop maneuver, the dramatic flip, and the eventual splashdown in a way we've never seen before, helping us better understand how well the ship performed during re-entry and what changes might be in store for future flights. Before we delve into this exciting new footage and SpaceX's next steps, make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on all of SpaceX's groundbreaking achievements. Let's dive in. SpaceX recently released a short but captivating 21-second video recorded by a camera mounted on a buoy floating in the Indian Ocean, showcasing Starship's dramatic flip maneuver during its fifth integrated flight test. This footage provides a unique glimpse into the final moments of the spacecraft's descent as it attempted a controlled splashdown in the ocean. Alongside the video, SpaceX shared a tweet stating, Starship flip maneuver in landing burn on its fifth flight test. Vehicle improvements ensured flaps were protected from high heating, resulting in a controlled entry and high accuracy splashdown at the targeted area in the Indian Ocean. To better understand this footage, let's first take a quick look at the key moments leading up to the splashdown. At around T plus 2 minutes and 35 seconds into the flight, Super Heavy's main engines cut off, and at T plus 2 minutes 41 seconds, Starship's upper stage engines ignited as part of a hot staging process. Hot staging, a technique where the upper stage ignites before completely separating from the first stage, allows for more efficient performance by reducing downtime between stage separation and ignition. This method, seen on rockets like Russia's Soyuz, has now been adopted by SpaceX to improve fuel efficiency and ensure a smoother transition between stages. Immediately after stage separation, Starship's upper stage continued on its suborbital trajectory, targeting a splashdown in the Indian Ocean. The upper stage reached a highest point of 212 kilometers before beginning its descent back to Earth. While SpaceX aims for a full recovery of the upper stage in future missions using Makezilla, this test was not intended to recover the vehicle intact, focusing more on the landing accuracy and other systems. The descent involved the well-known belly flop maneuver, where the vehicle flips to a horizontal position to increase drag and slow down naturally in the atmosphere. This maneuver allows the spacecraft to control its descent with precise flap movements, reducing the need for additional propulsion during atmospheric re-entry. By T plus 48 minutes, the upper stage began its re-entry process, creating visible plasma and heat around the ship as it descended back toward Earth. A short 21-second video, captured by a camera mounted on a buoy, shows the dramatic final moments of Starship's descent. The engines reignited as the ship prepared for splashdown, transitioning from its belly flop position to a vertical orientation. The camera footage reveals the ship gradually lowering itself with the engines still firing, creating vapor clouds as the exhaust interacted with the ocean surface. Once the ship made contact with the water, the flames were quickly extinguished, and the footage cuts off at this point. However, additional visuals show that shortly after touchdown, a minor explosion occurred near the upper stage and part of it floated in the ocean for around 20 seconds before the remaining flames dissipated. 
While the footage provides valuable insights into the landing, it's still unclear how much of the upper stage remained intact after the splashdown. As of now, it's not confirmed whether the upper stage has been retrieved from the ocean. SpaceX has not released any official updates on this matter, and it's unclear if they plan to recover this particular stage for further analysis. In future tests, SpaceX plans to attempt catching both the booster and upper stage midair using their tower-mounted chopstick arms. But for this test, the focus remained on perfecting the descent and landing accuracy. For the upcoming test, SpaceX is focusing on optimizing both the Super Heavy Booster and Starship upper stage. Moreover, SpaceX continues to work on improving the heat shield of the upper stage, which underwent significant upgrades before the fifth test flight. This included replacing older thermal tiles with stronger, more durable materials that performed better during re-entry. The tiles, which Musk previously described as fragile but crucial, will likely see further refinement to ensure the upper stage can survive multiple re-entries with minimal damage. Although SpaceX was technically ready for the fifth flight months earlier, the FAA's regulatory approval delayed the launch. The FAA required additional reviews, including a reassessment of the environmental impact caused by the modified flight plan. This review process pushed back the flight date to October, despite SpaceX's earlier preparations. As a result, future flights may face similar regulatory hurdles, but SpaceX is hopeful that the timeline for the next test will not be as delayed, with the launch likely to happen in late 2024 or early 2025. Before the fifth flight, technicians spent over 12,000 hours reworking the heat shield to provide better protection during re-entry. These improvements helped mitigate the overheating problems seen in earlier flights, particularly around the flaps. While the Super Heavy booster catch was successful, SpaceX's next major goal is to attempt catching the upper stage as well. This will mark a significant step toward full reusability, which is essential for making space travel more cost-effective. However, achieving a successful mid-air catch will require further tests and data from these splashdowns, especially as SpaceX continues to refine the vehicle's structural integrity during descent. For those who didn't see the Starship launch in person, I've got a surprise. You can still experience it with a realistic Starship model made just for our loyal viewers. Since you've watched this far, we know you're one of them. Head to the link in the description to grab yours now and relive space history. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you in the next video.